Alabama's news center. This is the WSFA TV News 12 o'clock report. Hello, I'm Gina Gregory. The United States Supreme Court has ruled that the Alabama law allowing silent prayer and meditation in public schools is unconstitutional. By a six towards direct talks with Israel, but they say that doesn't mean much until the PLO recognizes Israel's right to exist. Martin Fletcher, NBC News, Tel Aviv. Two men accused of spying for the Soviet Union have pleaded innocent to all of the charges against them. John Walker Jr. and his son Michael entered the pleas this morning in Baltimore. The government claims Walker headed a spy forgery. Yeager was convicted last 26-year-old Charles McCrory was arrested last night only hours after his wife was buried. The body of 24-year-old Julie McCrory was discovered Friday at her home by her father-in-law. Andalusia Police Chief John Harrell says the woman was beaten to death, but her three-year-old son, who was also inside the house, wasn't harmed. McCrory's being held in the Covington County Jail under $500,000 bond. Authorities have declined to state a possible motive for the murder. The sweltering heat wave is showing no signs of letting up. We'll have more on that when we come back. If you are someone you know... Believe that it's already <laughs> about three degrees hotter than yesterday? Now, it could be a record high, and we've got a lot to talk about in the weather segment when we come back. Loneliness began in the Garden of Eden. Man and woman were living together in perfect harmony with each other, with God. But something devastating happens. There was a declaration of independence. Man said, I will be independent of God. And he's ended up now in loneliness, and God began to call him, Adam, Adam, where are you in the Garden of Eden? See where Billy Graham you? with an important message, plus great music and special guests tonight at 8 on TV 12. They're back! ...highs around the nation. See this band of 100 starting in East Central Alabama, going all the way to the Atlantic coast. That's the focus of all the heat stress problems today. The critical heat alert continues. Now, Auburn is usually one of the coolest cities in our viewing area. Auburn at this hour is at 96 degrees. And this hour in Montgomery with 95, the heat index makes it feel 105 outside. It's getting hot and hotter. Take a look at the highs yesterday around the, the state of Alabama. Yesterday we had highs like this with 97 in Montgomery, 99 in Greenville, 100 degrees, the state's warmest temperature in Selma. And today a few cities in the state could hit the magic 100 because the thermometer is just a bit higher at this hour than it was yesterday at this hour. In some cities as much as 5 degrees higher than yesterday. 96 the high yesterday in the Dothan area. Well, a look at the weather map it continues to show the big high-pressure mound. Now, this high with its clockwise winds bringing in the westerly winds, the hot winds. It's a very strong high, and it extends well up into the upper levels of the atmosphere and doesn't show signs of budging today or tomorrow. Now, the hope is, and I, this is the hope, keep your fingers crossed, is that by Thursday and Friday and by Saturday, this thing will start breaking down, allowing showers and thunderstorms to our north and northwest to come into our area. But that is not etched in stone. These thunderstorms have been quite heavy. Uh, Heavy, in fact, uh, soaking rains, four inch rainfalls in Kansas. It would be nice. Dew point temperature 72. Makes it feel like 105 outside. The barometer falling at 29.99 inches. We've had no rain the past 24 hours. Lake Martin and Lake Jordan's level posted on your screen there. Sunrise tomorrow, 539, and setting tomorrow evening at 749. This afternoon, Take it easy. A critical heat alert continues. Hot and sunny. The actual high could reach 99. That would tie a record set in 1891. It'll feel like at least 105 to 110 degrees in the sun. For tonight, fair skies, quite humid. Low temperature down to 72. Tomorrow, not much change at all. In fact, no change. The heat alert continues. Hot and sunny with a high temperature again near 99 degrees. Thursday, Gosh, it would be nice to have a thunder shower, but the chances will be small on Thursday. Highs well up in the 90s. Friday and Saturday, scattered thunder showers we're hoping for with highs in the 90s and lows in the 70s. Stay cool this afternoon, Gina. Okay, thanks, Rich. You too. And stay with us because 12 Talks next. And two. Good afternoon. Welcome to 12 Talk. My guest on the show today is a member of the staff at one of Montgomery's hottest uh, new enterprises, the Alabama Shakespeare Festival. No one who is uh, not a hermit is not aware that uh, ASF is in town now. Mark Loigman, production manager for ASF. Welcome back to the show. You were here about a month ago and uh, talking about uh, a variety of things. And today you're going to tell us about a program, uh, a discussion series that ASF is sponsoring at Huntington, right? 
Right. Uh, we're actually very excited about this. This is, this is the third time that this uh, discussion series is offered in conjunction with Huntington College Continuing Education. Uh, once again, um, the idea really is to uh, a grassroots kind of approach to really talk to people and not just hit them with glossy ads. Yeah. Mark Logman, production manager, Alabama Shakespeare Festival. We want to mention again, Huntington College. It begins on July 9th. Uh, the phone number, if you want to call for more information, 265-0511. That's the Shakespeare and Montgomery Discussion Series. Thanks for coming today. Thank you. We'll be back with more news in just a moment. I'm Sarah Williams. I want to talk to you Miller about... is in Washington today. He's gearing up for his attempt at the national championship. 14-year-old Clay Blankenship of Tuscumbia arrived in Washington, D.C. yesterday, uh, rather on Sunday. He registered yesterday and he's done some sightseeing and now he'll begin the spelling bee tomorrow morning. We'll move on now to the poultry market news. This week's FOB dot price is 49 cents. Final weighted average, 47.64 cents. Market tone for next week's trading, ranging mostly steady to occasionally higher. Life supply is generally adequate to short in a few instances for good to fair, but mostly good demand. Average weights are desirable to occasionally light. Price trend lower to higher, but mostly steady to higher. The slaughter today, 2,223,600 compared to 2,319,400 a week ago. On now to the livestock market news from... Uh, Livestock market news, cattle and calves, receipts a week to date, 1,550. Last week, 2,302. Last year, 1,187. Compared with a week ago, cows, 2 to $4 and lower. Bulls are 2 to $4 and lower for calves, too few. Feeder calves, 2 to 300 pound steers are too few. Heifers, too few. 3 to 400 pound steers, 3 to $5 and lower. And for the heifers, it's 2 to $4 and lower. 4 to 500 pounds, 2 to 4 lower. Same for heifers. Feeder steers, 5 to 600 pounds, 2 to $4 and lower. Replacement cows, $1 to $4 and lower. Slaughter cattle prices, cows utility, 34 to 38. Bulls yielding 1 and 2, 1,200 to 1,500 pounds, 43 to 47. Calves, 250 to 350. No report, 350 to 500 pounds, 53 to 55. For feeder classes, medium frame size, number one muscle. Right. Good afternoon. The following farm futures were taken at 11.20. July soybeans were at 5.63 and a quarter, down one and a quarter. August 5.55, down two and a quarter. November 5.51, down three and three quarter points. July corn, 2.73 and three quarters, off a half. July wheat, 3.18 and three quarters, up to... 30 industrials was down 1.57 at 1309.36. And the New York Stock Exchange estimates that an average share of common stock this morning at 11 is down one cent, trading during the first hour total 29 million 20 thousand shares that's our news for now thank you for watching join us again at 6 and 10 for now have a good day and stay cool usfa television montgomery From Alabama's News Center, this is the WSFA TV News 6 o'clock report. Good evening, I'm Bob Howell, and this is the news for the 4th of June. The U.S. Supreme Court says the state of Alabama went too far in trying to bring prayer back. Some suspects and investigators have talked to probably 25 or 30 people concerning this case. We are searching for a 30 30 rifle. I would like to say that Governor Wallace has offered a $10,000 reward for the department. A Dothan businesswoman awaiting sentencing on a theft of property conviction in Alabama is now facing legal problems in another state. A grand jury in Seminole... Davis taxing local water reserves. And Chris Grimshaw reports on how the heat is threatening the state's chicken industry. The water system is in a critical situation. A spokesman for the system, Randolph Hall, says residents served by the system must cut out uh, any unnecessary use of water for lawns or gardens or for washing cars. Also, the but to poultry, it's deadly. Chris Grimshaw. Alabamians are desperately trying to keep their cool by using lots Service Commission President Jim Dollar, 36 cents per 1,000 kilowatt hours. A couple of big names advanced in today's French Open Tennis Championship. Mark Thornhill has more on that in a moment. And a look at a man on a mission. Let Big B TV 12. 
I guess Ted Turner soon will be taking suggestions as to uh, how to improve play over in Atlanta. He's got to do something. I, I'm, I'm about to give up. I don't know what to do with our Atlanta Braves. So sometimes a day off can do wonders even for our Atlanta Braves. They had fallen into last place in the National League West with a 6-0 loss to Pittsburgh this past Sunday afternoon. But following a day oh, off... He looks anything uh, like, any, like anything but a basketball player. The most right? unlikely appearing <laughs> player in the NBA championship. Thanks True. a lot. We'll be back. We'll get the specifics on the letter from uh, Rich Thomas in a moment. Stay with us. Is this where I get a loan approved? You know, this weather's getting serious when we're talking about this kind of heat for such a prolonged period of time. Dangerous, downright dangerous. And we're not at the end of it yet, Bob. We've still mm. got at least two, perhaps three more days. Take a look at the national high temperatures today. And over the northern half of the U.S., not bad at all, 60s and 70s. Fairly pleasant for June, but uh, that small area you see in the southeast from... Well, Alabama across Georgia into a portion of South Carolina is where the 100s were again today. And across Alabama, here's the way it looked. 101 today at Montgomery and Ozark. As far as we can tell, those were the warmest temperatures in the state. Now, when this map was prepared, some temperatures were still going up. But Troy got... Some misgivings. On Wall Street, traders overcome doubts about the economic outlook and send the Dow Jones Industrial Average to a near record, 1315.30, up more than four points. Looking ahead to tomorrow, President Reagan goes on the road again to promote his tax reform plan. And now with tonight's last word, here's Neil. Well, whether they like it or not, members of the baby boomer generation aren't generally thought of as a sober bunch. But that... Montgomery, today the highest heat index was 109. That was an hour ago. The barometer is steady now. There's been no rain the past 24 hours. Lake Martin and Lake Jordan's level are posted right in front of you with sunrise tomorrow at 539 and setting tomorrow evening at 749. The forecast for tonight and tomorrow night, mostly fair, warm and humid. We'll have light and variable winds, low temperatures ending up around 72. For Wednesday and Thursday, the critical heat alert continues. Hot and sunny, humidity not quite as high. However, the heat is still strong enough where you should continue all precautions. The high temperatures ending up around 99 both days. That's it, Bob. Thanks a lot. We'll keep a close eye on it. We'll be back. Stay with us. When we come back, Kim Davis reports on a big boom in Montgomery's home resales. Have you always... This report for Tuesday, June 4th. Good night and bon appétit. The Nightly Business Report is brought to you by Pacific Telesis Group, including Pacific Bell, Nevada Bell, and a growing network of diversified businesses. Our strong first year has set the course for a promising future. Digital Equipment Corporation and the newest member of the VAX family, MicroVAX 2. Now every user, project team, and department can afford the power of a VAX and public television stations across the nation. For a transcript of tonight's program, please send $3, check or money order, to NBR Transcripts, P.O. Box 12724, Overland Park, Kansas, 66212. Please include the date of the broadcast. o'clock hope you'll make your plans to join us then we'll have a recap of what's happened between now and then plus we'll find out more reaction on the supreme court's ruling of prayer unconstitutional in alabama entertainment tonight is next
Tonight at 7, the A-Team infiltrates the world of high fashion, launching an inventive rescue plan over land and sea. At 8, it's the Billy Graham Crusade. Then at 9, Laura and Remington comb the exotic Mediterranean Isle of Malta for the missing body of a murdered thief on Remington Steel. It's action, adventure, and mystery, and it's all for you tonight. On TV 12, let's all be there. This interview with film director Steven Spielberg. I'm Carol Marine, and I'll be taking you tomorrow inside the new Alcatraz. Join us tomorrow morning on Today. Good evening, I'm Bob Howell. Coming up next on tonight's news at 10 o'clock, we'll have more reaction to a Supreme Court ruling today that says Alabama's school prayer law is unconstitutional. What in the world has happened to the Atlanta Braves, and who is the man of muscle of Atlanta? We'll find out that in tonight's sports report, and record temperatures continue to soar across the state of Alabama. This and more coming up on tonight's 10 o'clock report. Stay with us. Coming up on The Tonight Show, Charles Nelson Riley and Tex Cobb join guest host Joan Rivers in 30 minutes. From Alabama's News Center, this is the WSFA TV News 10 o'clock report. Good evening, I'm Bob Howell, and this is the news for the 4th of June. The U.S. Supreme Court today outlawed moments of silence in schools if students are told they may pray during that time. Too far, and this went far too beyond. in Otaga County have been mailed letters of dismissal. When we come back, the demand for water in Alabama is reaching record levels, and some systems are unable to keep pace. Details when we return. Your first Alabama, second century... Between the Alabama Power Company and the state consumer protection officials over a proposed ceiling on rate hikes. The public service board easing the city's new liquor license ordinances. That move comes in reaction to a federal lawsuit alleging the ordinance discriminates against blacks and small businesses. Tonight, one of the three city council members who voted in expected on June 18th. The list of candidates is now complete in this year's Dothan City election. And Gus Brumblow, our former Mayor Jimmy Grant, Ward 1 City Commissioner John Glanton, and former State Senator Larry Register. Current Mayor Kenneth Everett had earlier announced he would not seek a second term in office. In Ward 2, incumbent Raymond Thomas has three challengers, Don Clements, R.L. Middleton, and Mike Tew. The winners in both of these races will begin four-year terms in October. Election Day is set for July 9th. A Dothan woman and son Michael have given their responses to charges they spied for the Soviet Union. They told a federal judge today that they're in. Well, Kevin, you've been keeping a close eye on the record books for the weather. Right, and the critical heat alert is still in effect, and uh, more warm weather on tap for tomorrow. More hot weather. We'll talk about it when we come back. Roger 290. Great team. And look at the payments on these hot 300 ZXs. The heat is on. Your trade-in value is hotter than ever, so watch the savings sizzle on a new Nissan now at Jack Ingram Motors. The choice of luxury. The luxury of choice. Well, I don't know how you spell relief, but a lot of us would like to spell it R-A-I-N. We need some rain in Alabama. Do. The Braves could need some help in three areas. Basically what? <laughs> Every area. Pitching, you can hitting, and fielding. <laughs> <laughs> and a few more we haven't thought of yet. The Braves are now in last place in the National League West. We will talk about that and more coming up. Father's Day is June 16th. Select a great gift for Tonight, you. Tonight, the top spot in the sport of bodybuilding is the title of Mr. Omer. a golfer, anything he wants. <laughs> and, and do it anywhere he wants to. <laughs> True. Thanks a lot, Mark. All right. We'll be back to wrap things up and take a look at tomorrow. Stay with us. Check into Central Bank's affordable checking. Just a dollar. From across Alabama gets underway in Montgomery tomorrow at the Sheraton Riverfront. And the Montgomery Auburn Club kicks off its summer of support for Auburn with a gala under the train shed at Union Station. No admission charge. That's tonight's 10 o'clock report. Thanks for watching. Terry Stanton has the first news of the day tomorrow morning at 725 in the midst of the Today Show. Until then, stay up for The Tonight Show. It's next here on TV 12. WSFA Television, Montgomery.
will have for sale at their annual public sale today. And in sports, we'll find out if there's any hope for the slumping Atlanta Braves. And Rich Thomas will look closely at his national weather radar in search of rain for relief. The 6 o'clock report. Nobody serves you better. Accents on modeling in our next half hour will conclude our conversation with Jerry Hall and Diane DeWitt. WSFA Television, Montgomery. From Alabama's News Center, this is Today in Alabama. Good morning, I'm Terry Stanton. Both of Alabama's U.S. Senators say they're extremely disappointed over the Supreme Court tenured and non-tenured teachers. Aides to Governor Wallace won't comment about a new poll that suggests the governor's popularity may be slipping. Wallace aide Hezekiah Wagstaff refuses to comment about the poll. In Alabama, Wednesday, the 5th day of June, the Public Service Commission holds its monthly meeting today. And the annual convention of county agents begins today in Montgomery. Well, the heat wave continues. Tell you about the weather forecast when we come back. Stay with us. Hello, I'm Joe. Well, a heat alert in effect for our area. Let's take a look at some early morning temperatures across the state. In Huntsville, 74 degrees. Birmingham, 74. Auburn, 79 degrees. Mobile, 74 degrees. And in Montgomery, under clear skies, we have 75 degrees. No rain is on radar. And the forecast for today, there is a daytime heat index of 105 to 110 degrees for today and tomorrow. Otherwise, very hot and sunny today with a high around 100. Tonight, warm and humid with lows in the lower 70s. And tomorrow, very hot and mostly sunny again with highs around around 100. That's our report this morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Terry Stanton. Have a very good day.